Hello there, uh, I'm Colin Lloyd, and today I'm presenting a project, The Frilled Shark, A Living Fossil. It's an earth and space uh, science project that I had to do, so don't mind you know, all the writing. So this is for a project, so hopefully everyone can understand that. If you have any questions at the end, please comment. If not, just don't worry about it. So uh, here we go. So what is the frilled shark? The frilled shark is a long eel-shaped species that is usually two meters long. The frilled shark usually feeds on squids and other types of larger aquatic life, so basically fish and other sharks. The frilled shark reproduces by laying embryos that mainly feed off the yolk that the mother lays. The frilled shark can have 2 to 15 young at a time. And this is the crazy part. Um, frilled sharks can surprisingly live up to 50 years, which I found really amazing as I was researching. I was just blown away that they can live that long. So people often mistake the frilled shark for a sea serpent or even Nessie. So you'll see later on that there's a heat map of where a lot of frilled sharks are located. And that makes sense because they are located near the zone uh, area where the Loch Ness Monster has been known to surface. I say this with, you know, air quotations. <laughs> Anyways, um, frilled sharks are considered endangered species in the IUCN Red List, which is basically a list used by the world to determine how endangered a species is and frilled sharks are not at the like verge of extinction but they're somewhat of a concern right now and all species should be that's on this red list <clears throat> excuse me frilled sharks can attack their prey by launching quick strikes like a snake uh, which is pretty cool so they kind of do that s they go into an s uh, shape and they just strike frilled sharks have an open lateral line which increases their sensitivity to hearing movement. The frilled shark have special teeth that trap the prey in their mouth while the shark swallows it. So as you can see here, this is a fossil or a cast fossil of the frilled shark. You can see its teeth kind of point in. So that means when it bites something, there's no way it's going to get away. And that's kind of a great thing for this uh, species because you don't really want to lose the food you have. So frilled sharks are known for lingering and living typically near the seafloor waters around the continents and islands. Um, very deep water uh, living animals, animal, fish, um, from 1,280 meters up to 1,570 meters, and they even live near the surface. Frilled sharks are spread out in an uncommon arrangement around the earth. They are found in the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, and they are also found near Japan. So here's that heat map I was telling you about. You can see Britain, all red, Japan, red, New Zealand, red, and Florida, very bright yellow and red. Moving on. It's old. The frilled shark is believed to be from around the late Creatius and possibly to the late Jurassic period. Because of its ancient ancestry and primitive characteristics, it has been classified as a living fossil. The frilled shark has always remained around the same area, which kind of makes sense because... It's always stayed around the edges of continents or the sea, oceans, and the frilled shark throughout the ages has outlived most of its predators. However, humans count as predators because we eat them sometimes. Their skin does not taste good to predators. That's why they don't really have many predators. Nobody really wants to eat something that tastes bad, which kind of makes sense. <laughs> so, advancements through time. The frilled shark is like any other species. It has gone through an evolution itself. The frilled shark's evolution is minor because of what its prey has been constant for millions of years. So they really need no uh, evolution. Mind you, they still have been racing back and forth. As If you've taken biology, you know, you learn that, that sometimes the, the prey will evolve somehow to make its way to get away faster or be smarter when it's being chased, and the shark evolves at the same time. So it is an advanced or evolved from having more sensitive ears. And I say ears, again, in air quotations, because earlier I explained what it has, so it can, it can hear stuff. So this is the frilled shark's teeth. As you can see, it looks like kind of like, it, it kind of looks uh, like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It just looks mean. It's definitely would not want to get bit by one of these sharks because they just hold you, and you're not going anywhere if they bite you. Because you can't, if you rip it out, you'll just open a bigger wound and you'll be more injured. So this is a picture of what the frilled shark looks like. It, it is, it looks very much like an eel. It's kind of, it looks 
like a monster, if anything. And I can understand why people believe it's a sea serpent. So the coolest things about the frilled shark, this is the last slide. If you guys have any comments, remember to comment in the section below. Um, its teeth are meant to trap the prey in their mouth to digest. They can swallow something half the size of them. That's crazy. They're old as dinosaurs. I just found, These are the things I found really interesting, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they're very rare to find them. They have seven gills per size per side, which is very rare as well, and very many people mistake them for a sea monster. And that is it. I hope you guys and guys and girls enjoyed this presentation. Um, I know I said I'm a lot. Sorry, I apologize for that. I just get a little nervous when I'm presenting projects. But hopefully I will get a good mark on this and have a good day guys. Bye.